I'm standing here in the great state of uh, Texas, just outside Houston. And um, as you can see here, we have a lot of oil production here in the area here. And uh, I would say the entire area here outside Houston here is nothing but refineries. Lots and lots of refineries here. And uh, you see an example of that right, right behind me here. Uh, the reason I stopped here is because there is a monument uh, up the street here that I will visit today and that has to do with the Texas Revolution in 1835-36 uh, uh, when they actually got independence from uh, Mexico well they didn't get it they took it okay Texas style take a look at this Yeah, so um, let's not waste any time here. Let's just drive up here. It's, it's another mile and you will see a, a big monument they, they built here. So let's go. Yeah, take a look at that one. That's another picture from the um, Texas Revolution. Uh, the, um, the place we are going to is called the Battleground of San Jacinto and uh, it's just around the corner here and maybe if you look you can see this tall structure uh, to the right there that's actually the monument itself here it's like a little gate here the San Jacinto Battleground State Park And what I will do is, I will just drive up here so you can um, get a good view of, of the monu monument itself here. So there you have it, my friends. The monument in memory of the Texas Revolution. Um, keep in mind, <clears throat> this is actually not too long ago. It's basically... Uh, 1835-36 like that and after the revolution kind of Texas became its own state there and was a state an independent state for about 10 years uh, before they got sucked up in the United States Union here so it's an interesting history and it's it's a very interesting monument and you can see it's very you know look it looks almost like the Washington Monument here with the reflecting pool and all that stuff uh, by the Lincoln Memorial as well in, in DC, right? So, you know, they used the same concept twice, but it worked, I think. They also built uh, some stairs. Uh, you see a few steps here, uh, and uh, in the background, you have another set of stairs, and you have this little wall here kind of making some kind of enclosure here around uh, uh, this pool here I'm driving down this uh, road here and they had to take it out to the side a little bit here uh, because you don't want to be too close to that pool they have down there and as you can see the area is very very green here because it rains a lot and because it's June right now this is the rainiest month down here in the uh, the area as far as I know and you could expect rain any any time here we have some kind of intersection with a stop sign all right and I will make a left And the sign here says San Jacinto State Historic Site. Yeah, the battle actually happened here. This is the place. Wow, look at that monument. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, let me go and park here and I'll be right back here. When you're getting closer here, you can kind of see it's a fairly big uh, structure. I mean, the base is uh, huge by itself here. And then 
you go up and it's almost impossible to grasp how tall this is. 567 feet tall. And I read somewhere that the star itself has a weight of 220 ton. So it's a heavy piece up there. And uh, they, they actually have some uh, inscriptions here on the wall here. They talk about when the first shot was or happened here. They say it, it was fired by the Texans at Gonzales. Wow. Yeah, so if you think on it, this is like a perfect place for a battle, right? You have nice grass and it's green and it's warm and it's, it's not too too shabby right so they actually picked all these nice battlegrounds <laughs> I don't know if that's what happened but it sounds really cool and uh, well this one is not open yet maybe I'm too early uh, let's see here no it's close today it's okay it's just uh, interesting to uh, to be in the area where they had such an important battle. They created a, a new nation named Texas for 10 years. And I think uh, Sam Houston, who gave name to, uh, to the town uh, Houston here, he was like elected president of this new state a couple of times. Here's the kind of side of it. Yeah, so what I will do here, because you can't really see the monument here uh, when, I'm, when I'm this close, right? So le let's go down there and see if that will give us a better perspective here. So I'm going down these nice stairs. So again, this is kind of recent. I mean, they built this just before the Second World War started. Pretty much like a copy of the Washington Monument, in my opinion. It might have a different meaning though, but... I mean, if I see it, that's what I think. Especially because they have this beautiful pool down there. Another reflecting pool, I guess. Here's a little map here. And uh, they call it the Marsh Trail. And as you can see, you have a lot of uh, like uh, water uh, close to, to here. They call it the Santa Ana Bayou. Up there, as you can see. See the monument. And uh, I think somewhere here you can take a ferry to, um, to the other side. But I saw a sign earlier that because of some uh, construction here, the ferry is not uh, going today or maybe for, for a few weeks or months. And we are in the middle of the swamp so I can, and I can see some small mosquitoes here. Look at these trees, by the way. Look at that. Look at the moss. If you're here in the evening, it's kind of spooky, right? Wow, beautiful. Look at that. It's kind of cool. And they say danger here. Everything is dangerous here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and I can feel these mosquitoes here, they are definitely, oh shit, they're biting, i go back. Yeah, I have to quickly go back up because whatever big fly slash mosquito this is, they go straight inside your ear and neck and bite you. So I'm scared now, I can't stay, wow. There is actually inside this uh, building here an elevator and you can go up and I see some windows up there exactly like in, uh, in Washington. Maybe you can see that at the top here. Oh my God! 
this fly is biting the microphone right now sorry pal there's nothing you can get from my microphone wow aggressive Texian fly or Texas fly I don't know what the, that is but God. I just checked the microphone and, and this fly is actually sitting on top of it it's kind of yellowish in the color I wish I could show you guys I can I can see him when he's sitting there biting the, the rubber but at least it's not my neck so I'm, I'm cool with that so I let him suck on my microphone for a while and while I'm checking out this one ah it's the same sign we saw before the San Jacinto battleground historic site sign here and, and, and it's actually the, the picture up here is when uh, they actually captured uh, the Santa Ana uh, general here and he is uh, surrendering to Sam Houston yeah this is really a cool place so is this a place you should actually come and visit yeah I think so why not if you're into Texas and these uh, tough rugged cowboys they have down here then this is the place come come and see where it all started yeah you still have opportunities in in Texas actually lots of jobs it's a fast-growing state uh, it's very rich and all that stuff and you can still find a lot of interesting places here so many things happened here in the past so it's definitely a cool place and they have plenty of food by the way you don't need to starve when you go to Texas so wow yeah the battleground my friends now you have seen it <laughs>